So I just finished doing my 10 minute morning meditation and that is a habit that I've been wanting to incorporate in my morning routine. It really helps with mental clarity and especially when I have a lot of things to get done and I'm really stressed in the mornings. Like it reminds me that there's nothing to stress about because all our problems, well most of our problems have solutions to it and if there's no solution then it's not worth it to stress about it because there's nothing you can do. So usually after my meditation session, that's when I like to journal. And there are two ways on how I like to do it. The first one is just free writing. So I basically just write down everything that's on my mind, um, stuff that happened lately, just anything that I can think about or something that I really want to remember in the future. So I just write everything down. And my second option is by using journal prompts and those are questions like pre-made questions that I want to ask myself just for self-awareness and just to check in on how I've been lately, how I'm feeling lately and it's really effective. If you guys are looking for some prompts, I post a lot on my Instagram story so make sure to follow me there. I'm not really sure what time you guys watch my videos but if you have time right now then try to do it with me. I'm gonna show you guys my prompt, like the questions that I'm gonna be using today. One of my goals this year is to read at least one book a month and I've been doing pretty well at it. This is the second book I'm reading. It's called Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. It's all about the creator of Nike and how he built the company. This isn't mine. I just found this one lying around and while waiting for my book to arrive because I ordered it. I just picked it up. I think it's my brother's and he said it's really nice. So I decided to read it and so far it's amazing. It just reminds you that successful people didn't always have it all together. Like they had to go through hardships and a lot of obstacles to get where they are right now. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you ever like get your hands on this book, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. I try to read a book in the morning and in the afternoon also whenever I go on my break then usually at night before sleeping it's been working as my time off my phone it's so helpful especially when you find yourself like scrolling too much i try my best to stop and just pick up a book to read because it helps with like relaxing my eyes and i just gain a lot of information whenever i read books that's why i really enjoy reading right now I like to work out in the morning and usually I would just do a 7 to 10 minute butt or ab workout here in my room. Since my sister's here, we're gonna go out and maybe jog or do some jumping rope thingy. I don't know. She bought this and only used it once so we're gonna take it out. We gonna do that. I took a shower and I just finished my Nihongo lessons online. Some of you guys were asking if I knew how to speak Nihongo and I do but I'm not really that fluent with it. So yeah, I hired someone to teach me 
through Zoom. I'm not that comfortable with speaking Nihongo because I'm scared of making a mistake. But now that someone's teaching me, like, they can hear what the words I'm pronouncing incorrectly and yeah it's been working really well for me so I'm really happy about that and I want to share with you guys a productivity tip that I've been doing for a few years now and it is writing down your to-do list the night before. Whenever I write it down the night before I feel prepared for the next day. This is my um my planner for 2021. It's from Sunny's. They sent this to me. I really like the setup because it has this like monthly overview and it also has a weekly one like this. So usually here I would write like everything that I have to do for the day and here I would write the habits that I want to keep working on. So let's say I want to work out three times a week. I'm just gonna put work out here and then three like boxes that I can fill out once I'm done with it and I also read all the important reminders here and then that's when I put everything on the specific date that I want to get it done. I'm not doing that many school work right now because I just finished my finals a while ago so that means I'm free. Oh my god. This week, I mean this term was a complete struggle because I've been doing lab subjects online and it's really difficult and it's just not my vibe. I can't. I can't concentrate, especially with lab classes. I'm gonna take a 30 minute break and then I'm gonna head to 7 Eleven to pick up coffee. You guys, 7 Eleven here has the best coffee. It's really strong and it's so tasty. When I get back home, I'm gonna start editing a video and that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. Shoelaces and Elmer's glue 